Sid Meier's Ace Patrol is the latest experiment from the acclaimed creator of the Civilization series. In fact, it's a game that actually echoes some of the combat changes made to the series back in Civ 5. Thrown into World War 1, you take to the skies as a flying ace. It's up to you to master your aircraft, changing altitude, rolling, banking, and blasting your enemies until they burst into flames. However, these dogfights play out not in real time, but as a turn-based experience on a hexagonal grid. Most missions consist of either dogfighting with enemy forces, or protecting a train or supply depot. Your plane can usually travel up to three hexagons in a straight line if it maintains altitude, and can veer left or right. If you want to increase or decrease altitude, your movement will be restricted. There are three levels of altitude, with the highest offering the biggest combat bonuses. Green arrows will notify you when an enemy plane is in range. As long as you keep your eye on your position and don't try and take on too many planes at the same time, you're in with a chance of emerging victorious. Back at base, you can recruit squad members, each of whom come with their own unique bonuses. As your pilots become more seasoned in battle, they learn more maneuvers, which will come in handy as the fighting becomes more complicated and fierce. As it's a free-to-play game, any campaigns outside the initial offering are going to cost you money. That said, there are also multiplayer matches to keep you interested. But as an overall experience, Ace Patrol is disjointed at best. The presentation is pretty average, and the game doesn't really have a clear sense of focus or progression. On top of that, the turn-based combat is slightly lacking. Maybe it's the stop and start nature of the dogfight, maybe it's the snail's pace movement. Perhaps a melding of turn-based and real-time might have been beneficial here, as with Leviathan warships. However, it is free to try, so strategy fans with a fondness for air combat might as well give it a go. If nothing else, you'll get to see what air combat in Civ 5 might have looked like. This has been James with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.